Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Today I want to explain a little bit more about the split function. It is a very useful function but can be tricky because of the output of that uh, function. Okay, so uh, before I dive deep, I just want to mention that every scenario that I work on on this channel, uh, you can find links in the description of how to download it and to get it so you can test with it as well as well as other, other like uh, cool links for you to check out that will be helpful to you okay let's right let's dive right deep okay so create a new scenario as always i'm going to name this split save save is very important okay so we have our node here in make uh, let's click plus and let's create a variable so i'm gonna name it email and i'm gonna type in a couple of emails here okay Okay, so I have a couple of emails that I wrote here, and this is the variable, okay? So if I run this, I have this bubble that shows me the results. So I have a variable called names, called emails, and it has all of these emails, okay? Now, what if I want to split those emails so that I have individual emails, okay? And the way I do that, I can do it in here, right i can do it in here i go to functions the uh, text functions and there's something called split so this is the split so if i click on the function it tells me that it takes a string a string is basically uh, it takes a, uh, a text so a string a string is basically a piece of text okay uh, it, uh, the first part is a text and the second part is a separator okay so this is our this is our text right i'm gonna copy it and paste it inside the first slot and the second one is what the separator so what separates where i want to cut if i have a scissors and i want to cut this where do i want to cut this so i basically want to cut this first at the comma let's click okay and uh, let me run it let me run it okay so now i have a, an email same thing but now if you can see it's now an array so what is an array? So an array is like a bag that has stuff in it, right? Uh, so the stuff was uh, was outside of the bag scattered. It wasn't an array. It was a text. So words and letters were outside. And what I did is I put them in a bag in a way that I want to organize it, okay? So I put it in an array inside of the array we have all the individual emails now how is how did that happen it happened because i specified that cut this whole piece of text which is in here uh, originally this text cut it up whenever you find uh, this separator okay and it went ahead when i first got the first one it cut it second one it cut it third one it cut it and so forth okay <clears throat> so uh, inside of the second uh, variable what i want to do is so now i have an array okay just keep in mind there are ways to deal with arrays and i have a specific video on that on how to deal with array on the channel make sure to watch that it will it will help you in dealing with arrays okay so now i have array so if I want to work on every bit of this array, it's better if I turn it into a collection, right? That way I can uh, I can work on e on each and every one of those, okay? Uh, but let's say I want to separate, uh, I want to separate the domain, right, of each of these 
of these ones okay now i can do that with an array but i need to specify what i want to work on so i'll, I'll show you here so i will set a variable here called uh, domains and i will take see you see now i have this array it has a bracket so it's an array and it shows me the number one slot which is the first one it doesn't show me the rest right because it shows me only one so if i click on this one it says me email array and it leaves me a space here to write which number that i want let's say i want to grab the first one and if i if i run this now and i click here so now i have the first one which is great i selected only one uh, what i want to do is i want to split this same thing i did using the split function inside of the text functions split and i'm going to grab this array and i want to split by the at okay so if i run this now i have another array that has james and the domain so if i only want the domain right i only want the first bit the way to do that is we use the get function okay uh, now this is outside of the scope of this but let me just show you how so i'm going to grab the whole split here and i'm going to say uh, two i'm going to run this uh, so here you go james.com so this is the domain uh, what i did here so i did the split uh, where the at is but i know that this split will result in an array of two parts one part is the first part behind before the at and the other part is after the at right and i only want the second bit i don't want the first bit so this is why i use the get function okay the get function gets me the first part of the array so in this one function i only i just got the first part okay uh, now if you say okay but how do i get uh, all of them right i want to get all of them and to do and to do that you want to iterate on this array okay so what iterate i have a video on aggregators and iterators uh, you can watch that but uh, for the sake of this demonstration i like to do an example that is uh, useful i don't like to just speak of uh, an abstract things okay so an iterator takes an array so i'm going to give it this array i'm going to break this off now and i'm going to run so to just know what is the result so the result of this is a collections collection so it's it took that bag which is an array opened it up grabbed everything and put it outside in special collections okay now if now i can work on uh I can work on all of them so i'm going to remove this which is it was an array and i'm going to say work on the value click ok and run this so now as you can see i have five outputs and five operations each operation results in the domain right look at that look how beautiful that is all automated okay uh, so now we got the domains using uh, an iterator right we got the output was the domain for each one we had the domain now i can store that i can <clears throat> i can filter that i can add it to a google sheet uh, i can do whatever i want i can do a filter so that if it if uh, if the domain contains gmail then this is a then this would be a this is a gmail and it will store it like a personal email and if it if it's not gmail if it doesn't contain uh, then uh, you will store it in a professional email okay so this is uh, this is a good way to filter things out but just to recap this uh, the split function works in a way it takes a string which is a piece of text and you give it where you want to cut it up the separator after that it results in an array and then uh, be careful of how to use the array if you want to act on individual ones give the number right of those if you want to act on all of them turn them into a collections by using an iterator then you can 
work on each and every one of them, loop through them, okay? Uh, so this was the split function uh, uh, quickly. I hope this video was useful to you guys. I'm gonna save this blueprint here. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna export it for you guys for you to keep uh, and uh, test with. I'll include some awesome links in the description below. If you did like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching.